Annyeong! This is Nuna Army. So today we'll be organizing actually the stack of photo cards that I need to store and keep in their rightful places. And I thought it would be good to, to go through the storage materials that I use, really go in depth in the system that I use to store them because I mentioned this in a quick video that I did earlier. And I'll link that up here if you haven't seen that. But in that video, you would have seen just this container, which contains album PCs, um, DVD PCs, any small photo cards that, that fit in this particular container. Um, today, I, I will go a little bit more in depth on first why I chose to store them this way rather than using binders as my primary storage system for photo cards what materials that I use, which I kind of touched on in that earlier video, and maybe even flip through my current collection. So I only really started collecting photo cards July this year. My first photo card was actually from the Samsung Galaxy Buds um, BTS edition, and then it came with a set of photo cards that started it. I ordered some Map of the Soul Tour photo cards, which are here, um, which really triggered and got me deep into this hole of collecting photo cards, being exposed to the photo card world, um, and, and really growing my collection from there. So the system that I use is what you see here. Um, I store them in top loaders, so I do put them in soft sleeves and then I put them in top loaders and then they go into these containers. And they work really well for the smaller photo cards that I have, so all the album and DVD PCs, plus even the tour PCs and some of the other collabs that they've done. But where I find that it's not so effective is actually in the bigger photo cards, which you'll see here. I'll just maybe open one up. Again, similarly, I store these in soft sleeves and then they're also in top loaders. But they're, I haven't found a way or a storage solution that really allows, I don't know, better, better storage better ways for me to see all of the photo cards easily as you can see here they're just in these like full plastic slip folders and it's very hard for me to actually go through and look through the bigger photo cards so i am going to be setting up a binder system as well so that i can keep the bigger photo cards there but I like this system of using top loaders because I, I like the freedom of being able to just pick up a card, really go up close with it without any fear of bending it, of damaging it or anything like that because that's what the top loader does. It just gives it a layer of reinforcement that the soft sleeves are just not enough to give me that security. I like being able to like flick through them almost like how you would any record shop or CD shop in, back in the day and just being able to like go through them one by one, pick one up, really inspect it up close, you know, play around with it while at the same time being secure that it's it's safe in any, any case like this. So that's why I do choose to just have it in this system rather than primarily using a binder. Like what I said earlier, I am also going to be setting up my own binder system just because I think some photo cards do work better in a binder. Maybe they're sets that I don't, are not active, meaning, not active for me, meaning I'm not going to be growing that collection actively. It's not something that I'll be perusing through um, often those are the cards that I'll probably put in a binder and also duplicates. I have a lot of like duplicates that I choose to keep. I'll put those in a binder as well. That's that's going to be a different video. But for the, today's video, let's focus on this system that I'm using, which is soft sleeves plus top loaders. And I'll go through that while storing these new photo cards that I have. So if you haven't seen my other video, I did talk about this, the soft sleeves that I use for these smaller PCs are two kinds. So I use this KMC Perfect Hard um, card barrier protectors. They're the standard size and these work very well for any album PCs, DVD PCs, or any small photo cards basically. 
anything that's bigger, I'll use these. So I actually get this from Clear Bags. It's a shop in the U.S., clearbags.com. And this particular model, B3X4NF, fits the tour photo cards very, very well, while at the same time still being able to fit in these top loaders that I do use. These, both of these are archival material, meaning they're acid-free, PVC-free, and that's really what you need for your soft sleeves and even your binder sleeves, your top loaders, everything has to be archival material. And it's very easy to spot. It will just have to say acid-free, PVC-free. You just want to make sure that the material you're using to protect your cards is not actually going to cause any damage, discoloration, or anything like that, any reaction that you don't want to happen in your cards because the whole point is preservation. And for that to happen, you need to use materials that are designed to preserve these cards. So it's it's just a little thing that I also mentioned in my other video, but I feel like it's very, very important for you to look through. You're just not after any kind of plastic sleeve, any 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 material. You need to find something that will help serve the purpose of preserving the cards. Okay, so I think we can go ahead and um, start storing these cards. So I'll start off with the smaller pieces. I think something that's really helpful is actually showing the dimensions of the photo cards themselves. If you're a seasoned collector, you already know this information. But for me, when I was starting to find storage solutions, what I really needed was the measurements of the cards themselves. So I just <laughs> rudimentarily, <laughs> so I just draw, drew them up here with the photo card and the measurements. So these are, this is a, an album PC and this is the typical size that you'll find in any latest any of the latest um, BTS album photo cards they will be this size so they're 86 millimeters by 54 millimeters and that again will just help you help guide you find the right storage solutions for yourself because I will be linking the materials if I can find them I'll be linking them in the description box but if you can't find those materials if they're not you know they don't, they don't deliver to to where you live at least you have these measurements to kind of just guide you and and find the solution that that is accessible to you so let's start off with this and I will be using these KMC um, sleeves perfect hard sleeves and I insert them like this so the seal of the sleeve is right on top the top of the card goes in towards that seal and then once I have that card I am free to just insert it into the top loader like so cool and I'll do that so you'll see this is uh, Map of the Soul 7, The Journey, I think, Universal Music Store Edition. Um, it's the same size, 86 by 54, so it'll be stored the same way. Oh, Map of the Soul Persona. Again, same size, because this is an album PC. And we have Map of the Soul 7 version 1. Again, they're the same size, 86 mm by 54 mm. These are not to scale, I'm just like demonstrating that that's the size, but I have measured these with a ruler and they are the same size. Now, this is a, still an album PC, mini PC, but it is a different size from the non-lenticular one. This is a lenticular card. This is actually 90 by 60, 60, so it's slightly bigger. It will still fit in the same system. I'm just demonstrating that it is slightly bigger than the non-lenticular mini PCs. Tour mini PCs are significantly bigger, so they're 100 millimeters by 70 millimeters so you can't really use the same system that you would use for your album or dvd mini pcs because it just 
won't work. It won't be as good of a fit. Um, so for this, I use the clear bags B3X4NF, and I use these A7 hard cases to store them. Now these are the Map of the Soul 1 cards that came with the, the tumbler that you get. They're also 100 by 70 if that helps you at all. So I find that any inclusion cards, so if you buy, if you have an army bomb for example, they come with photo cards as well, they will be the same size. So the storage solution should be the same as what you would use for your tour PCs. Okay, so the next massive stack that I have here are the Map of the Soul 1 mini PCs. So I will be doing this off camera and I really was um, very anxious when I got them because the finish is very different from normal tour PCs. They're not that glossy. They don't have that glossy finish. I don't know if, you've, if you haven't seen my video where I unbox these. They're matte, which makes them really, really pretty, actually, to look at. But at the same time, that just makes them more susceptible to any damage, scratches, or, or whatever. A lot of them actually came with manufacturing defects, like scratches at the back, especially. Good thing it's not really at the front, but the back where it's all black like this, you can really see all of those scratches um, and whatnot so for me it was like important to just store these immediately okay so finally done with sleeving all of them putting them in top loaders now we're gonna find their spots so let's start off with the album pieces So just to keep a record of the cards that I do have, I have this notebook. Each page is a set, um, and then I just list down what cards I have. So you can see your memories of 2019, and these are the cards that I have, etc. So just so I have a record there. Now, one clear disadvantage of this system that I'm using is that it takes up a lot of space. So you can see that you know these are. I've already actually taken out some of the tour photo cards that I will be placing in a binder so I don't have like love yourself here I've taken those out I've taken speak yourself out as well um, just because those will be will be going into a binder and I'll probably have to make similar choices very soon on what other PCs I need to move from my top loader system into a binder system so I'll do that after I set up my binder just because I I don't want to eat up more than two of these cases. I just want to, all of these will be moving to the binder, so that's fine, by. But I just want to keep my mini PCs within these two cases. I hope you enjoyed that, found something useful. I think for me, what's really important is you find a system that works for you. This is something that works for me for my purpose. I will be evolving this like what I said that I'll be using a binder setup as well for certain cards for certain collections that I feel would work better in a binder um, but yeah so I hope you enjoy that I hope you found that useful and I'll see you guys in my next video bye